And hello everyone, I'm Kira Phillips, breaking news right here on ABC News Live. They were told you're a go for final approach, and now we can tell you Boeing Starliner has docked. The trigger happened, then the big loop, they were meters away, and you heard them uh, approaching ISS via mission control that gave the all call, and now we can say the dock is successful. Two NASA astronauts on board the company's first ever crewed test flight with a mission set to last a total of eight days now in space. Let's take a listen. Starliner's soft capture system has finished attenuating any motion after initial capture. And with the arrival of Starliner again, that coming at 1234 p.m. Central Time, we have two American crewed spacecraft aboard the International Space Station. All right, Gina, we, we, we got that moment. I know we dropped out for just a second with you, but there it is. Uh, we, we got the official announcement from Mission Control. Again, that coming at 12. And what's interesting about this, Kira, is that it took them two tries. No, they scrubbed a couple of times before launch, so two tries to dock seems to be par for this mission. Um, I think everyone in Mission Control is breathing a sigh of relief. Uh, what we're waiting for next, it's going to take a while for all the, hat, the locks to be uh, secured, and we'll get hatch opening about an hour and a half from now. So this will be our first view of Butch and Sonny emerging from Starliner and greeting all of their colleagues on the space station. Don't forget about that very important cargo they're carrying. The crew took off some of their belongings so they could put a new pump on the space station for their um, waste system, to politely phrase it. So, you know, let's just talk about what it, it took uh, to get here uh, with the delays, um, with uh, the third attempt, uh, um, finally, uh, for, for a launch. Uh, you know, th this wasn't easy. Um, but so let's talk about that and now what it means uh, to finally uh, be docked after its second attempt. Four years of delays, $1.5 billion that Boeing lost on this contract. Um, most of the delays were not Boeing's fault, these last two attempts. But this has been very frustrating. And yesterday in the briefing, you could see their elation. Mark Nappy from Boeing said, this was such a big day for Boeing. My boss was here, my boss's bosses were here, and my boss's boss's bosses were here. <laughs> Let's talk about the two crew members for a moment. Uh, Butch Wilmore, uh, the commander, and also Suni Williams, the pilot. Both NASA astronauts, both Navy pilots. Wilmore spending uh, more than 150 days in space. Williams, uh, about 322 days. Um, there they are right there. Uh, this has got to be an exciting time for them. And um, have you had a chance to meet them, talk to them, or at least give us um, what they have said leading up to this moment? Uh, it, clearly a, 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 another special moment to add to their resumes. They're both Navy test pilots. They're veterans. They're pros. They were excited to test this capsule as well. Butch Wilmore is a Baptist minister. He's a, you know, he's the guy who cracks up everyone in the room. Sunita Williams, Sonny, she is a dog lover. She owned a very famous dog that she named Gorby. She tattooed Gorby's paws on her forearm. On her second mission into space, she had grown her hair out really, really long. She cut it off on orbit and donated her, her locks to Locks of Love. So they're both really fun, fascinating people. They've clearly bonded as a crew, and they're a good choice for this mission. It's, it's pretty special. SUNY, the first woman to take part in this test flight of an American spacecraft uh, as they t took themselves uh, to, the, to the ISS. I know they're expected to be there um, until at least June 14th. So tell us what the mission will be. This is a mission of test. They're testing this uh, spacecraft capability. 
It's a very robust spacecraft. We saw that on this docking exercise, that they could hold it outside the, the keep-out zone. They're going to be testing its uh, use as a safe haven on the space station. If they have to abandon the space station, how easy is it to load back in and disconnect? They're also going to be testing the return. This is going to be the first time a spacecraft has landed on land since the space shuttle. So they will land in the western U.S. someplace with parachutes. So a lot of systems tests that will demonstrate this spacecraft capability. All right, Gina Sinceri, appreciate you calling in. It was fun to watch. We'll continue to follow, of course, the mission over the next week and a half or so.